Well then, hello all, this is Dave, welcome back to Talking Walls, another update video, I hope you guys are all doing well. As always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our social media links to keep up to date with all the Walls news are in the description, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and make sure you go and follow us or like us on those pages. But guys, plenty of news to go through, although the last sort of transfer was Wednesday, Thursday, there's still plenty of news that has happened, really, and a lot of rumours still circulating with, you know, the transfer window not too long away from being shut. It's closing before the season kicks off, and we may as well jump straight into it. As always, if you've got any thoughts on any of these rumours, do let us know in the comments section down below, and we'll try our best to get back to all of you. But we're going to kick off with Barry Douglas. We did a little video on him a few days ago, and now his move to Leeds is confirmed. Um... Yesterday afternoon, during the, when Wolves were playing Derby, Barry Douglas was spotted at the Leeds ground. It seemed to go a little bit quiet. It was a bit strange over the last couple of days. Obviously, um, the, the bid was accepted, and then it just sort of didn't really go anywhere. But then yesterday, it was all confirmed by Leeds and, of course, Wolves. And then Barry Douglas put some posts on his own social medias, almost saying that Wolves forced him out. He was told that he wasn't going to be part of the plans this year at Wolves. And that's why, ultimately, he was out of his control. So very, very interesting that Wolves have said that. And that, obviously, Barry, he wasn't going to be part of it. So Wolves obviously had bigger plans. Whether that was due to Johnny, and they were always waiting for him to, to join in. Or whether there's going to be a bigger part for Ruben Vinagre, or maybe even another signing. Barry Douglas, fantastic. He was a big part of our season last term. Five goals and 14 assists. Very, very much a 50-50 split, really, between this one. I've seen plenty of people upset, but I've seen a lot of people see the brighter side as well of this transfer. But let us know in the comment section down below what you think of it. Obviously, the three sort of players at the moment, I'd say, that may be taking that place. You've got Johnny, who started yesterday against Derby. I can't really comment too much about it, because obviously I'm abroad at the moment, uh, and I didn't go to the game, or I haven't seen any of the game. Uh, Ryan Giles, a youngster who's come in, made a really big impression on pre-season. Is it too early for him in the Premier League? Probably. But we've, we've seen it happen before with these players, chucked in at the deep end and performing. And of course, Ruben Managre, currently away with the under-19s Portugal. I think they've got a final this weekend, either today or tomorrow. May well be today, and he's really impressed in that tournament. So it'll be very interesting to see if he's back for the start of the Premier League season. But we did a quick poll on our Twitter this morning. And there is still plenty of time left on the poll, but there ran 850 votes so far. I put, who would people want to see replace? Um, Barry Douglas is the number one choice at left wing back. Obviously, the options were Johnny, Vinagre, Giles, or a new signing. At the moment, Johnny's got 36%. New signing with 31%. Vinagre with 29%. So it's pretty close. And then, obviously, Giles is a few percent there as well. But... Fairly close on that one, but Barry Douglas, we wish him all the best. Um, moving on, Adama Traore. Again, this link doesn't seem to go away. And again, this one's a really Marmite one. I've seen plenty of people say they want him, but again, I've seen plenty of people saying no, thank you. Um, I think people forget Adama Traore is only 22 years of age. It seems like he's been around for quite a number of years, but he's played for Barcelona. You know, he's moved to Middlesbrough, played for a little bit for Villa as well. And he's a player full of talent. And he's still very, very young and only going to get better. Now, I've seen a lot of comments say his lack of end product. And to be fair, I was probably one of them that, were, that was sort of saying that when we were first linked. But I've spoken to many Middlesbrough fans, seen plenty of comments on social media saying, since Pulis has come in, his end product has got so much better. He's chipped in with plenty of assists. There is some crazy stat with the amount of like goals he's chipped in in the last sort of 20, 25 games. He's done really, really well the latter stage of the championship. And I think under Nuno, under the regime that we've got, he could turn out to be an absolutely fantastic player. However, £18 million is the fee that has been uh, banished about. He's, that's his release clause. Again, a few rumours whether that had to all be paid up front, whether you could do it in clauses or so on. I think release clauses, you do have to activate it with full payment up front. Um, however, as well, friendly, uh, the last part of last week, he dislocated his shoulder. So that has got to be checked up on. It may be worse. It may not be. I mean, the dislocation, sometimes you can get away with not really missing any matches as long as it's OK. But if it's any worse, it could be out to over a month. So that could put a real dent in the deal for Wolves if they are genuinely interested. Tim Nash, uh, the journalist, put a tweet saying that Wolves are ready to sign the deal. And Adama was as well, but obviously that wasn't the case. Some papers even saying that Adama was angry that he had to play. 
But I suppose if Wolves had a deal agreed, I doubt Middlesbrough would have paid played him. So um, for their sake as well, I know they don't want to get rid of him. But Pulis has said there's been no bids. Tim Spears is ex expressing stars if Wolves are interested, but there's been no bids. Sometimes you do have to take um, stuff that managers say with maybe a pinch of salt. Only because, you know, they want what's best for the club. They want to keep everyone happy and so on. They don't. Uh, it's very rare to see a manager say, yeah, there's a bid been a bit accepted anyway. Only two teams really linked with at the moment are Huddersfield and Wolves, so we'll have to keep an eye on that one anyway, see how his injury goes, but if he's okay, that one may be signed this week, but we'll of course do a full video on that if that is the case. Now moving on to the two centre-halves that Wolves have been linked with, first one being Marcus Rojo. Now, um, quite a big deal this one to be honest, Marcus Rojo is a, is a fairly big name in the Premier League for good or bad reasons, again I think this is another Marmite one you're never going to get 100% of people happy with the transfers, he is missing Manchester United USA tour that they're currently on um, of course he had an extended break after the World Cup but he was expected to join up with the side but he's going straight back to Manchester so a rumour is that obviously he's weighing up his future now, I think Manchester United got far too many defenders and they do need to get rid of a few players. Darmian being one, I think Rojo is going to be another. And Cameron Borfick Jackson, obviously the ex Wolves man, has gone out on loan to Scunthorpe, I believe. So they're they're trying to get rid of a few players, get some wages freed up a little bit more. Um, he's only just signed a ma new Manchester United contract back in March, so they're going to be demanding quite a little bit of money, I'd assume. Uh, it's rumored to have been around twenty to twenty-five million pounds. I think it's quite a big gamble. For that sort of price, for Rojo, especially with his injury history, he hasn't played a massive bunch of games for United in the last year or so. Missed out on the whole squad for the FA Cup final. So it's quite a gamble, this one. But let us know your thoughts on Marcus Rojo. I think he's probably going to be better on the left side of the fence. Obviously, that's where Willy Bolly is. It's going to be very interesting to see if Willy Bolly does switch sides. We've not seen that in pre season. And he was so comfortable on the left side. It'll be very interesting to see what happens with that. And the final rumour is Pepe. This is a big one, a really, really big one. It's been rumoured, and it's very, very hard again. <laughs> it feels strange saying it, but it's another sort of Marmite rumour. Uh, some people really, really want Pepe. They think he's a match winner, whereas some other people don't like him. They don't like his aggressive side. They think he's a cheat, and so on. But obviously, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. Pepe, 7 million for him from Besiktas in Turkey. There's rumours that he's not really settled in Turkey, despite him having 35 league appearances. As a whole, he's won 12 major trophies as a player, including Champions League, European Championships. One year left on his contract. The wages may be an issue. It's believed that he's on about 80 grand a week at the moment at Besiktas. But, you know, this guy, it, he's a match winner. Again, this one has been written off by Tim Spears, saying Wolves have no interest in him, and it might be the papers adding... One on one together, a Portuguese player and Wolves putting them together to get an easy transfer rumour. But plenty, plenty of papers are jumping on this one. Some big outlets in Turkey. To be fair, in the past when I've looked at Turkish outlets and found rumours on there, they're not the best, to be honest. But there are some big, big Turkish outlets jumping on this one. So be very, very interested to see how it goes. I saw a paper in Chile jump on it the other day uh, with one of the players from Chile moving to Besiktas. And they were saying it's because Pepe is leaving Besiktas. However, they've got another fantastic player, uh, Vida, who did so well for Croatia at the World Cup, playing for Besiktas, looking like he's going to be leaving. So... They may be getting the wrong defender on that front, but who knows. But plenty to look at uh, over you know, the last couple of days or so. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more rumours over the next week or so as well. We're going to be hoping to do our best to bring you as many regular updates as we can. But make sure you hit the like button. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Dave as a party. But all the Talking Walls links are in the description down below as well. At Talking Walls on Twitter. At Talking Walls official on Instagram and Talking Wolves on Facebook. But until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, get involved in the discussion in the comments section there, in the comment section down below, and uh, we'll see you all very, very soon.